If you have popping and clicking and grinding in your shoulder joint, there are two things that you must start to do every single day that can help you to eliminate this problem. They take less than five minutes to do, they're super simple, they're incredibly effective, and they're what I want to show you in this video today. Now, the majority of popping and clicking in your shoulder is gonna come from one of two things. It's either a buildup and release of nitrogen gas in your joint fluid, think like if you were to pop or crack your knuckles, kind of the same idea, or it could be a tendon that is snapping in and out of place in your shoulder joint. Both of these problems are fairly minor and they're both easily corrected with the exercises that I'm going to show you in this video today. However, please know that if your popping and clicking is accompanied by pain, or if there was an injury in your recent past that led to that popping and clicking, those are both signs that a more serious issue might be going on, and I would encourage you to go get that checked out by a local healthcare professional. That said, exercise number one coming at you right now. The first thing that's going to help the popping and clicking in your shoulder is to get it stretched out. A lot of times what happens is this anterior shoulder capsule or the front of your shoulder gets tight and causes your shoulders to round in forward like this. That throws off the movements and all of a sudden that can lead to pain and popping and clicking. So what we need to do is stretch out the front of the shoulder. These are the three exercises that are my go-tos in doing that. I'm going to grab a golf club. If you have a golf club at home, great. You can also use a broom or a mop or a dowel or just you know something about this size. The first thing that I want to start with is we're going to keep your shoulder down in a nice pain-free range, a nice symptom-free range. We're going to do a shoulder extension stretch. If I wanted to stretch out my right shoulder, what I'm going to do is grab that golf club right here with my right hand. With my left hand, that comes on top of the golf club, and then I'm going to use my left hand to just push my right back behind me. I'm keeping my elbow straight and then pushing just until I get a good stretch right here through the front part of my shoulder. Be sure to maintain really good posture while you do this. I don't want you to bend forward like this. I want you to stay up nice and tall. And again, just until a good, comfortable stretch is felt. You're gonna hold that for 20 seconds, and then you're going to repeat that one three times. Next, let's get into an external rotation position to stretch out your tight internal rotators. Again, a lot of the problem, a lot of the pain and clicking that you might be experiencing is due to those shoulders rounding in and forward. We need to get them back to put the head of the humerus where it needs to be. So this external rotation stretch, we're gonna grab the head of the club. Again, this right shoulder is my painful one. I'm gonna bend my elbow to a 90 degree. With my left hand, I'm going to then push my hand out to the side. You'll see that I'm maintaining that 90 degree and I want that elbow tucked in tight to your side. I'm using my left hand to push my right hand away from my body in that rotation motion. Again, until I get a good comfortable stretch right here through the front part of my shoulder, the same numbers are going to apply. You're gonna hold that for 20 seconds and then you're going to repeat that three times. Now we've spent some time down here, we went into extension and external rotation. We should be able to more effectively get into overhead motions now. And that's why we're going to introduce flexion. So yes, the order does matter. I wanna do extension first, external rotation second. Now let's get into some overhead motion. Hands right on the top of the golf club, left hand is still down on the other end of the club or broom or mop, whatever you're using. And then we're going to use the left hand to drive the right hand up as high as you can go. Now, don't let your shoulder raise, meaning I don't want it to look like this. I want you to keep your shoulder down as you do this. So you're gonna hold that up and overhead just at a nice comfortable range of motion. You're gonna do that 20 seconds and you're gonna repeat that three times. We talked about how there are two things that you should do every day to help eliminate popping in your shoulder. The first one is stretching, and those are the three stretches that I just showed you. Those are going to help to eliminate the popping in the short term. However, if you want to keep that popping away and fix the problem long term, we also need to follow that up with some rotator cuff strengthening. Now your rotator cuff is four muscles whose primary job is shoulder stability, keeping the shoulder in the right spot during motion. So in order to eliminate that popping long-term, let's strengthen your rotator cuff. Let me show you three exercises to help you do that. The first one is going to be a scap pinch or a scapular pinch. Really simple, all you're going to do is stand right here, really good posture, head high, shoulders back, with both elbows bent to a 90 degree, and then we're going to rotate out to the side, pinch your shoulder blades together in the back, 
and then come back to that starting position. And so we're right here, keeping the elbows in nice and tight, pinching the shoulder blades together in the back, hold one, two, and then come back to that starting position. You're gonna do about 20 to 30 of those a day. Our second exercise is going to combine rotator cuff strengthening with some overhead motion. I call this one a wall Y. Looks like a Y right there, that's where it gets its name. What I want you to do is come stand right up close to a wall. I'm actually going to put my chest against the wall. So the starting position looks just like this. With my hands, I'm going to slide my hands up towards kind of the corners of the room in this Y motion. So now they're overhead. And then what we're going to do is lift your hands up off of the wall as far as you can take them in this direction. Hold one, two, three, return to the wall, and then come right back down. So we're gonna go up in this Y motion. We're gonna come off of the wall as far as you can, hold one, two, three, and then come right back down to the wall. This is a great way that we're training your scapular strength in addition to the rotator cuff, in addition to the postural muscles, making this a great exercise to eliminate that popping and clicking. What you're going to do is three sets of 10 repetitions. My last exercise to strengthen your rotator cuff is a wall angel, and it looks just like this. You're going to back up to a wall. I've got my hips, shoulder blades, and the back of my head up against the wall. Now the two areas of my arm that I want to focus on are my elbow, and then this part of my hand right here. I want to get those in contact with the wall as well. I'm in this good, nice posture position with external rotation in my shoulders. Now I'm going to keep my elbows and my hands in contact with the wall as high as I can. And then about right there, your elbows are going to want to come off the wall. But then keep your hands still in contact with the wall until they touch overhead. And then as you come back down, get your elbows back in contact with the wall just as soon as you can. So at full speed, it looks just like this right here. We're getting a ton of retraction through the shoulders. We're getting nice, good posture. We're getting strengthening of those rotator cuff muscles. This is a great way that you can eliminate some of that pain and popping that might be going on in your shoulder. You're gonna shoot for about 10 repetitions and then you're gonna repeat that three times. Now, do you have pain in your shoulder, especially while sleeping? It's super common and I treat it all the time. There's some really cool things that you can do to help to eliminate shoulder pain while you're sleeping. If you're interested in checking that out, this is the video that I want you to click on right here. Now, for some reason, YouTube thinks that you might like this video. You might check that one out. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, hit this circle button right here to do that. I'd love to see you back for future videos. And until next time, we'll see you again right here on Tone and Titan.